1030 hours UTC March 2nd 2022 this is my second part continuation I have started uploading my first video on Ukraine Russia war zone uh, where I have already uh, narrated a lot of uh, uh, things about what is going on with this conflict now I've got the second part to that which is uh, going on to what exactly is going to happen I have indicated in my earlier uh, uploaded video that it's all about hedging the communication once you hijack the communication of a nation, of a person, of an organization, you can uh, hijack the narrative or you can uh, do the narration by yourself and then play the metaphor games around that neighborhood. So this is uh, what is going to happen. This is what Putin has been trying to indicate and is trying to show world uh, in a real form. So I guess on day seven, Ukraine uh, will be taken over by Russia troop. Uh, I don't think there is any sense for Ukraine uh, alone going for this long fight. I'm not uh, discouraging them. Uh, they have all the right to defend their freedom and uh, more than 200 uh, K civilians have been displaced so far and I understand this is a humanitarian crisis. However, uh, the negotiations for diplomatic solutions uh, long failed and I kept indicating on my emails and my update that this is not gonna work out folks. We must prepare for the war from Russia and obviously our heart goes to all those families who are suffering and everybody else. But this is not to say that this was not seen or not coming. I've already indicated that this was something which was long seen from NATO, Russia, uh, conflict or war zone. Those gray areas which were supposed to be left idle were already warned by Russia. And what is going to happen next? We have seen Russia has been warning or alerting its uh, nuclear forces to stay on alert. This is also coming. The reason being is very simple. Uh, I guess uh, Russia doesn't want to use nuclear weapons. That's not what Putin's mind is. I can read his mind very well to understand what he, his thoughts are. But I tell you his thought is to uh, come to a level of uh, status six, if you understand what I'm saying, folks, or not for mad, you know, it is not for mutual assured destruction. But this is what Russia or Putin mind say when he moves such move. We have to understand the leadership I don't know what the world leadership is going into. It's a chaotic behavior because of uh, too late, too little to act upon. And at the same time, diplomatic channels failed. Thirdly, I would say in the UNSC resolution, you've seen many nations abstaining from voting against Russia war or many call it aggression. So this was an indication that who they're siding with. Uh, we understand China abstaining from voting in UNSC, which was to indicate that they have allegiance, they have vowed, they support each other. So this is no surprise. But India abstaining from voting against the war is a shocker to everyone. And this is what democracy is all about. And uh, coming on to the next topic, uh, India court and India union or India government is fighting on marital rapes law where the marital rapes were permitted by India government since 1947 has been argued by the courts of India that why is such uh, nonsense or, you know, why is such a... Uh, uh, you know hijacking of liberty of, of married females have been instituted in India marriages and India government has yet to reply I guess democratic nations have to take heed from such uh, nations who simply don't uh, adhere to the basic principle of gender equality and the marital rape is a rape regardless of whether it happens in the house outside the house married unmarried whether it's uh, to anyone gender whatever it's there is something which is quite often here and I guess uh, the courts of India are now demanding answer from an India Union, India government, that what is their stand on marital rapes? I think they must define under IPC 376 of India uh, Penal Court, which is IPC 376. They must define this marital rape. Anywhere else, they will be then obfuscating. This is something which I want to give you heads up. And because they're going to do some obfuscation on this thing by defining under some other section. Because for that, 376 for India, IPC addresses what all it takes for sexual gratification forcefully, kidnapping, abduction, everything entails into that, or battery, sexual battery. So there has been uptick in uh, India sexual gratification acts forcefully, uh, known as rape. And uh, I have already uploaded articles uh, recently on my website, onewordpress.wordpress.com. You can always take a look and go and see what is going wrong. Also, quickly jumping on to the next topic, we have we are very good to see that Omicron for 2022 has somehow subsided and new mutations are not seen around, but that doesn't mean social distancing should be forgotten for now. Masks, I understand masks are taken off because the 
vaccination vaccination has taken effect but the nations going for the vaccination or non vaccination uh, bias should not should not now continue the bias has to end and uh, those people who have opted not to vaccinate because they feel they are healthy body healthy mind body and soul like me i tell you folks i'm telling you the first time i've not taken any vaccination i was uh, not against vaccination but i said i have healthy mind body and spirits so i have not taken any vaccination even though